Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And before you rage comment, I know what the title says. I know what the thumbnail says. But just let me get through introducing tonight's beer and some intro stuff for the channel. And then I promise it'll make sense by the end. Just, just chill. Just don't rage at me yet. Okay? Tonight's beer. We're drinking... Good old-fashioned Blue Moon, right? Good old-fashioned Belgian White Blue Moon. Let's crack it open. Oh, it's sprayed everywhere. Oh, oh, it's all over everything now. Okay, okay. Well, you know, sometimes when it's excited, it, 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 it. Never mind. I'm not gonna finish that joke. You guys can finish that for me in the comments. All right, and thank you all so much for being here on the channel. I do appreciate it more than you know. If you guys would like the video for me, subscribe and share it with everybody that you know. Uh, being a young channel and a new channel and starting this stuff um, <laughs> late game of YouTube, um, it's really, really hard to grow. And you guys have grown the channel four times what it was for the last two years. So... I just thank you all so much for that. And uh, just share, hit the share button, share it on your social medias and say, hey guys, this dude's kind of fun. We kind of like him. Or like, even if you don't just lie, just lie and make me feel good. Oh, I love it when you lie. God, I'm like Rihanna that way. I love the way you lie. Oh my gosh, I'm so quiet right now. Let's roll that up a little bit. Anyway, if you guys would do all that for me, that would be fantastic. Let's get into anime. Something that I got into as a well, I didn't really get into anime, so let's let's backtrack it a little bit. Why do I say why is that? Why is it? You know, I used to hate anime, and anime sucks. Here's my top five. Well, let's go into that a little bit. So obviously, growing up in uh, the '90s and early 2000s, anime was becoming very very big. Um, for kids to watch, and a lot of people like myself, we didn't really keep up with it throughout the years. However, we had a lot of friends and family who were into it and people constantly trying to show us new things. So I used to tell people all the time, I'm not really a big anime fan. Uh, and I think most of it is just like, I just haven't been introduced to stuff that I like. And I, so most of it to me is just hot garbage still. However, there were four that always remained in my heart that I was like, I don't care that these are animes. I will watch them always. Um, because I just thought they were awesome. And basically anything Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z um, related, even GT. I still like, and I know a lot of people give crap to GT. GT had interesting concepts, but it didn't, you know, uh, it didn't execute well. Um, Gundam Wing, right? Gundam Wing was on in the 90s. I loved Gundam Wing. Uh, I still do, actually. I actually like it more as an adult um, than I did as a kid. Um, Princess Mononoke, I found at Hollywood Video. I don't know if you guys ever knew. It was like a competitor to Blockbuster in uh, Colorado where I lived. And I bought that movie and my mom got it for me. And I freaking love Princess Mononoke to this day. And the other one is one that I found out a lot of even anime fans don't know about. I found this, uh, my, my cousin was into anime. And there was like an anime section on like Comcast On Demand back when that was a thing and um it was called the get backers and so because of those four shows when people would come to me and say dude anime is this greatest thing ever you got to watch this anime i would check out animes that people would tell me to check out as i got older oh my god they were hot garbage i i, I just like man maybe anime is just not for me maybe i just found these gems that i really liked and but just most most of it is just just hot hot garbage um but in moments in my life uh when trying to find things to watch and things that i would enjoy or, or i was just bored and needed something to do um i i've come across quite a few things over the years i actually checked out the uh the 12 episode devil may cry um, over the years, I checked out the, um, there was one, I, what was it called? Was it called Blackjack? I don't know. It was this doctor who went around and checked out like strange cases of medical conditions. Uh, this one guy is obviously an anime had this like really weird medical. He was very old and like he would, 
like he would have these episodes where he'd like puke up fire. It was crazy. I, I really I, I liked that one. Uh, I think it was called Black. I can't even remember what it was called. If you guys know what these ones are called, let me know. There was another one of a guy. He had like a camera. He was a journalist and he would go out and he would take pictures. And he had like this thing where he could like snap a picture and stuff would explode. Uh, I want to say Speed Griffer was another one that I kind of remember from back in the day. And as I got older, anime just never, I just didn't, I just didn't care for it. Especially because a lot of my friends, you know, they were into like the Naruto's, the Yu Yu Hakusho's, you know, that stuff that was coming out on Toonami, like after the Dragon Ball Z phase, right? I mean, that's what carried Toonami for years. Um, never did want to get into One Piece because there's like 8 billion and 5 episodes or some th something like that. Like, it's just... And and for the most part, um, anime is just so over the top with a lot of the voice acting and stuff like that. Like it's just it just wears on me after a while, to a certain extent. Which is actually why I won't I, I don't watch dubbed animes. Um, I I won't I won't watch uh, or, or subbed subbed animes. I'm sorry. I will watch the dubs. I'll watch the American voice acting. The Japanese voice acting is. So anime is already over the top and Japanese voice acting is so, so, so over the top for me. I just, I can't, I can't do it. And I know that's heresy to people who are anime fans and that's fine because I don't still technically consider myself an anime fan. There are ones that I like. And again, those four that I mentioned in the beginning, you know, anything Dragon Ball related, the Get Backers, Princess Mononoke and Gundam Wing. And I always thought, hey, these were really good things they were very good stories i liked the characters of them uh, again still some over the top moments that are a little grating but ones that i you know I, I was still like oh okay i'll give i'll give this show a chance and as i got older i checked out a couple more things uh, uh i checked out uh helsing ultimate predominantly because of the team four star uh helsing ultimate abridged which was just hilarious but i didn't understand a lot of the jokes so i actually went back and watched helsing ultimate i thought that one was fairly good um I, I, you know, really had no issues with it. And the reason that I'm kind of making this video now is because I'm actually getting more into anime. I still wouldn't consider myself a fan, but my daughter is old enough to want to get into anime and myself and my wife as good parents. What do we do? All right. Well, if you want to watch this show or you think you want to watch this show, mommy and I need to watch it first. We need to clear it first and then you guys can watch it. Um, and so, uh, and then just with a lack of Western media being good lately, I have, uh, been just looking for good stories and good characters to get into. Um, actually somebody had mentioned in my comments, um, on another video, how good my hero academia was. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm not currently engaged in a show right now or watching anything. So I'll check that out. And so far, <clears throat> um, like 15 episodes in or something like that over the course of like a week or something uh, my hero academia it's not it's not it's not terrible it does have things that i do like about it there's one thing uh i don't really like about the show and that is it just has way too many like <sighs> recap moments like remembering stuff i understand it's part of the greater story i know why they're doing it as part of the story i just it loses me there it like takes me out of the episode because all of a sudden, it's like, oh, great. They're showing me an episode from three episodes ago for the 17th time. Um, but no, so far, uh, My Hero Academia is not not bad. It's not unwatchable, for sure. I like the, the characterizations of it. But I have had time to sit down and think about the five anime like franchises. Or not even franchises, but just the five animes that I have come to think that are just top tier in my personal opinion over the course of the years and what and and, and why I like them and let's just go down the list uh this list is I'm going to I'm going to throw stuff out here you guys are going to disagree with this and this is just going to be my li keep in mind numbers don't matter here because this is just how I feel today and if you guys disagree with it, that's fine. This is just how I feel today. It could change tomorrow. It's probably still going to be these same five, uh, but their placement might be a little different just depending on what kind of mood I'm in. But let's start it off. Anything Dragon Ball related, I think is in a solid number five for me. Like, 
anything Dragon Ball related. And that's just because Toriyama, the way that he writes, he just kind of forgets some things. I mean, and if you guys don't think I love, like, there's that, there's this Vegeta over here, and then my wife bought me this Vegeta up here. That's why that Vegeta hangs there. So if you guys don't think that I don't love Dragon Ball and have since I was a kid, like, I, I do, I do. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. I love it. And the reason that Dragon Ball still sucks me in is because it has one theme throughout Dragon Ball that really stands out. And that theme is never quit, never give up. No matter how hard it is, no matter how many times you just want to hit that snooze button and just call into work and not get back up. Like the fact of the matter is, is one of the things I love about it is if I think about Dragon Ball, I think about, you know, the never say die. Never quit, never give up. And that's and that's something that I try to live with in my personal life. You know, I, I wake up at four in the morning, I go to work, I get back, I, I'm trying to do these videos or sometimes that I'm just like, man, I'm just really tired. And I hope that doesn't come through in the videos because I do try to flip that switch to, to harness the energy that I usually have when I'm not tired. But that's what makes Dragon Ball so incredibly important like impactful to me and why I have loved it since I was a kid. It sounds like second or third grade when I started watching it. Like it's so long time. The next one on my list and it's, and I, and, and I, I was able to actually show it to my kids. It was princess Mononoke. I remember watching this as a kid and I, you, I, man, I burned that VHS so many times through the, through the VCR before I had to take it back uh, to Hollywood video and the artwork and the calmness of it. And it wasn't big and over the top and huge, but like it was this connection to nature and the, and it was very Tolkien, um, you know, kind of somewhat, an, there was somewhat of an anti-industrialist message there which i don't necessarily agree with that i do agree that you know we 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 don't we don't obviously we need to progress in the world through industry but we don't need to sacrifice the world around us to do it and there is a balance there and i think that that can be achieved and that's just a more the moral struggle that we face as human beings and we see what going too far in one direction can do to us. I don't agree with the message that, you know, oh, just leave everything perfectly natural and it'll be fine. No, nature fucking sucks and will kill you. Like, nature will kill you. You know, uh, I was the, you know, the Joe Rogan podcast years ago, he had somebody on and they were talking about, you know, everybody's like, oh, I love to go hiking in the woods. It's so funny. He goes, yeah, you know why you like to go hiking in the woods? Because we've literally like industrialize the woods and the bears and the mountain lions try not to attack you for the most part. Like that's why going out into nature is so fun. But like back in the day, nature was not fun between disease. I mean, come on, Oregon trail was based off of, well, the Oregon trail, <laughs> like seriously, but throughout princess Mononoke, there is just this fantastic, fantastic, idea of nature versus industrialism and people versus other people and how to handle that situation and how to walk those lines and it's such a great great thing um my number three spot i might regret this one i think i am going to take my number three spot i'm going to take gundam wing out and i'm going to put Demon Slayer in. Demon Slayer to me is the modern day Dragon Ball Z. And what do I mean by that? The artwork and the story that they're telling is very similar to me. And I could be reading it wrong. But Dragon Ball Z was ahead of its time in the artwork, the grandiose scale, the violence. And it was fantastic for it. And I think that Demon Slayer has come in and it's swept the world over. And I think that because of how beautiful the artwork is and how beautiful uh, the, the, the settings are and where some of the characters are going. And again, that never say die, never quit attitude that is ever present in Demon Slayer. I would say that Demon Slayer is a modern 
a more modern version of, uh, or this generation's version of Dragon Ball Z. In my number two slot, the Get Backers. Oh my goodness. So many people who say that they love anime, I, I throw this out there and they're like, we don't know what, I'm like, how do you not? The camaraderie of this show was so fantastic. Yinji Amino, the Lightning Emperor, and Bon Mido. Oh, you know, the man with the Jagon, the stare that could send you into a nightmare. Oh, my goodness, Lord. And then all of the subsequent characters were fantastic and endearing. And the sense of camaraderie in this show and always standing by that person next to you is something that touches my heart dearly because I don't think we have a lot of people who focus on loyalty and camaraderie in today's day and age. A, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of what you'll see through political and cultural conversations and narratives is people talking more so about you know, the skin deep stuff. And the Get Backers never was skin deep. It was always deeper rooted in friendship and absolutely fantastic for it that is why it is on my number two that is why it is and i i actually i need to find like a dvd box set if somebody has a line on a dvd box set of that oh please send it to me please please send it to me or or just don't send it to me just let me know where i can get it and finally i would say my number one anime that i have been exposed to which made me rethink anime as a genre for me to watch. It is on such a different level than any of the others. Even the long-standing you know, Dragon Ball was Attack on Titan. Something about this show just hits me in a way that I go... Nothing, no anime that I have ever seen remotely compares to this story, the grit, the grandiose nature of it. The struggle of people versus monsters, monsters versus people, people versus people. You know, you get the politics involved and everybody's making plans and working against each other and then you just have the pure unadulterated bad assery that is the action the characters that never say die and the characters that feel this unyielding rage to accomplish the goal that they need to accomplish and for me attack on titan completely made me rethink about anime as a genre and whether or not i was even going to like tolerated enough or accepted enough in my life to just tell my kids no don't worry about watching anime you can watch it when you get older because I don't want to have to spot check everything you watch or go to my kids and be like all right it's fine like daddy watched it you're good and literally attack on titan made me accept accept all of it as a genre and realize okay no anime isn't just okay and it's not this thing that's not for me there are stories out there that are for me that are fantastically well done the characters are amazing to watch again those four that i carried with me from childhood never made me think anime was going to be something that i would care about and I didn't list everything here that I've seen. I've, I've obviously seen more over the years, and I've seen some hot garbage ones that my friends tried to be like, no, you'll really like this one. And that was back in high school. And I was like, no, dude, this this the show sucks. Like, there's nothing good about this. What do you mean you didn't like the show? I'm like, dude, you only like this show because there's a big titty girl fighting. And, like, her jugs are out half the time. Like, that's the only reason you like the show. What do you mean you don't like it? I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I actually care about story. And that's what I thought just a lot of anime fans were into because, well, I was friends with high school boys when I was in high school and was a boy. And Attack on Titan was not that. Attack on Titan, and it doesn't have some dumb love story involved, which thankfully a lot of the animes that I've watched haven't had stupid love stories. But man, that show is on a different level. 
So, what do you guys think? What are some animes that you guys like? Are there is there some a recommendation that you would have for me? Currently, I we have the Funimation subscription because you know I need something to watch. And let me know what you think about my top five. And like I said, it could change. I mean, it's just I, I haven't you know I haven't been shown anything yet that would alter that top five. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know how much you wanted to rage comment at me for the title of this video and for the thumbnail of this video. And we will see you next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.